Are you tired of wasting money on really expensive acrylic mediums? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your own DIY gesso coming up. Hi again there guys, Emma here from Paint and Pino giving you some top tips for all things art and design. And today we're talking all about mediums, in particular, gesso. Gesso is crucial when it comes to actually priming your canvas. If you're not sure whether you should be priming canvases or not with acrylic paints, then do check out a video which I'll leave linked below, which talks about why it's so important when it comes to priming the canvas. The problem a lot of people find with this stuff is it can be quite expensive. So in this video, I'm gonna break down some basic ingredients and show you why this is so crucial and how it's gonna help your painting. Let's have a look. Now, when you first buy your canvas, usually from a shop, guys, it's gonna be pre-primed anyway. Often they'll say they've actually been double primed to give that nice flat surface. But it is always good practice still to do your own gesso, just to make sure that you've got a bit more control over the quality. So here's an example of the type of gesso you might purchase from the art shop. They are pretty expensive. So obviously the whole point of today's video is to show you how to make your own DIY version of that. Now, if you were to purchase a canvas that hasn't already been primed, or if you're gonna make your own, actually stretching the canvas onto the wood, then you're gonna find that your paint's going to penetrate too easily. So here's an example. If this is a, a canvas without any gesso on there, your paint gets absorbed too quickly and it makes it really difficult to distribute the acrylic across the surface or of course the oil. So if you've got one layer of gesso on there, you're still gonna have, I've represented it here as a bit of a bumpy layer because it's not gonna be completely smooth and the paint is still going to be absorbed slightly. So obviously you can see here, the idea is that the more layers of gesso you can have, obviously the less penetration there is going to be of paint, which means it's going to be an awful lot easier to actually distribute it across the surface of the canvas. And of course your surface is going to be flatter as well, as long as you're doing it so that every time the layer of gesso can dry. So in terms of the ingredients, guys, this I find works every single time and they're pretty cheap as well. So it's simply two parts water based on 100 ml as one part, one part calcium carbonate or just chalk, one part PVA and one part any cheap paint that you have white acrylic. The reason I'm using calcium carbonate uh, as opposed to things like talcum powder or baby powder is just for health and safety reasons. There's been a few issues recently with people concerned about using uh, talcum powder. So I like to go with the calcium carbonate instead. So you can see I've just got some cal calcium carbonate already in the cup. So I'm just gonna pour in my water And you want to give this a really good stir. So you're making sure that that calcium carbonate really does dissolve into the water itself. Then I'm simply gonna just put some PVA glue. It's important that you use PVA because it does have a clear solution and it does give a nice sheen. It's not too matte when it finishes. So it's just one part which we're obviously going to stir in as well as I'm just using acrylic paint. What I tend to do is if I'm making a large batch of gesso, I'll actually put white primer paint in there because it's an awful lot cheaper. But for this benefit today, I'm just gonna use some basic acrylic or any cheap white paint that you have, guys. Obviously acrylic's not the cheapest, but we're using a relatively small amount here so I can justify the extra cost. So give it a really good stir through. And then what I like to do is actually keep it in a nice sealed container. So this is just an old uh, source container which I've cleared out. And then this should last you a few weeks if you're keeping it nice and sealed. I'm just gonna give it one last shake to finish off. Now, of course, the benefit as well to making your own gesso is you can control how much liquid you actually put in there. Some people like to have a bit of a thicker consistency. I like to have quite a lucid consistency so that I can spread it pretty easily onto my canvas. I find the thinner the consistency, the more layers you actually need to put on. But then again, if you're having a really thick consistency, it's really difficult to get it nice and flat. So I'm just gonna do a quick once over. You can see I'm using a really large decorator's brush here. This is actually a 100 mil decorator's brush. If you've seen videos of mine previously, guys, you'll know that I love to use these brushes. They're brilliant for blending paint and, of course, for priming your canvases. 
So ordinarily, once I've done that first layer, I would just leave this now to dry. And then obviously, if I want to do two, three, four layers, I think the max I've ever done is five layers, but you want that to dry every time. One trick I do like to do with my gesso is actually leave it wet so that when I'm coming to put the acrylic on in a moment, if I'm doing something like a blended background, then it means that I'm gonna be able to blend that paint much more easily if that primer is still wet in the background. So there you have it guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's video on how to make your own DIY gesso just using some base ingredients at home. If you have enjoyed the video, then please do hit that like button just below as it really does help our channel. And if you'd like to see some more weekly top tips just like this one, then do hit that notification bell and subscription button just below. We do upload videos every Wednesday and Saturday, guys, so please make sure you're checking us out when we come back online. Alrighty, we'll see you next time. Happy painting.